But that was what was a key for me. I started, you know, because at one point, even with the Greenbergians, you know, I was like showing Sal and O'Reilly. I remember one day asking Bill O'Reilly, I said, hey, Bill, why isn't my work going over more with this group, you know? I mean, it's kind of like, he said, well, I'll ask them. And, I, I, and later I said, hey, Bill, what did what, what, they say? He said, nothing. I said, oh, this is not the humor, is it? But it started making me think. I said, yeah, I'm drawing all these shapes. These guys like rectangles. It's like, it's rectangles. It's all, you know, it's a stripe. It's a rectangle. It's a box. It's a, you know, it's like, it's a found object. I thought, yeah, I'm not doing that. I don't want to do that. You know, this is where I'm pushing it to. You know, I'm taking it someplace, some ways back to the 30s, 20s and 30s. Artists like, you know, early Giacometti, Gonzalez, Picasso, you know, when they started making sculpture, they're drawing. You know, they didn't, you know, as much as Picasso did, you know, Picasso did everything, you know. I mean, I can find sculptures that look like my rap things. I mean, it's like, you know, it's scary what Picasso covered, you know. Uh, but, um, you know, they're drawing. You know, it's about drawing. It's about, you know, and this is what I always feel about Picasso, even in his shittiest periods and paintings that aren't so great, or graphics or whatever, what always saves him is his drawing. And, you know, and this is why de Kooning, oh, I never, I never was negative about de Kooning, um, was that I would see de Kooning, you know, and I, I realized he wasn't like the more color field painters, or even that he would be a stepping stone towards that. Um, he was making paintings where, you know, it was a big struggle for him, but the idea of drawing a shape, or erasing a shape. I mean, you know, it's just like that, you know, that Rauschenberg erased uh, de Kooning. I mean, it is a bit of a, what's the, uh, what's the famous, uh, you know, father and son uh, uh, killing off, you know, what's, what's that? Maybe a Greek myth? Anyway. I think something. That's the way most people see it. It's like the son killing off the father, right? But at the same time, it's an homage. Because nothing is more important to de Kooning's style is the idea of erasing or, or you know, wiping away and then doing it again. And, you know, I mean, with de Kooning, I mean, there are paintings of his that I've looked at, said, oh, this is great de Kooning, and I walked up to it and got about five foot away from it, and we're like, gee, this thing doesn't even make sense in five feet. It's like, it's a bunch of, you know, and you look at it and go, back away and you go, whoa, look at this, it just came together, you know? Um, and some of the stuff he would leave, which is, is kind of so radical, you know, you just go like, how do you see that, you know? Um, but that that aspect of art making is always interesting, and I thought, you know, every aspect of art making, I mean, I was interviewed once and someone said, so, you know, what have you done? And I said, well, you know, basically I'm, I'm working with everything there is except Figuration in the traditional sense, I'm not trying to make a figure, you know, in a realistic way. As much as some of my tall vertical pieces always look some kind of way like a figure, um, and even the more horizontal pieces, you know, even, even this piece kind of relates to a, a shelter idea, or a, you know, like it could be a hut. I mean, I was always calling them igloos or mounds, or you know, um, there's always that aspect you know, that I've always found fascinating. 